Hey there guys, this is gonna be part two of the DIY chicken coop project. And as you can see, I've made some pretty good progress since the part one video where I did just the basic framing of the coop. In this part, I'm gonna show you how I put all the plywood on, added the trim, windows, doors, roofing, and various things like that. So let's get to that portion of the video. But first, I wanna say thank you to the Home Depot Prospective and Ryobi Tools for partnering with me on this build. So let's get started. All right guys, I'm not gonna lie, this first part of this video might be just a little bit boring because I'm simply just adding plywood sheathing to the outer structure of the coop. But it is an important step because I can't add any of the windows, doors, or other features until I have the plywood on. You'll notice that I'm using a finish nailer to initially attach the plywood, but also note that I'm finishing everything up with screws as they will provide a more secure mounting of the plywood onto the coop. With plywood now covering the main body of the coop, it's time to start building the framework that will make up the side access door. And for this, I'm using standard one by threes and joining them together with pocket hole screws and glue. In total, I'm making three similar rectangular shaped frames. One of these frames will serve as the outer framework of the doorway. The other frame will be about a half inch smaller in all directions and it will serve as the interior weather seal of the doorway. And then the third frame will be attached to the cutout piece of plywood and will make up the door. So I just got done cutting out the opening for this side access door. And this is the frame that you saw me use as a template. This is going to be installed on the outside of it to kind of trim everything in place. But before I install this, I need to install another frame on the inside of this opening. They'll create a little half inch lip. And that is what will serve as the weatherproofing. Uh, once I get the door on, it'll make more sense. But basically it's just gonna create a little lip. Uh, so I'll do that right now and then I'll install this. And as I mentioned before, the door is being made by using the plywood cut out from the door opening and joining that to the smallest of the three frames. And with this, I just use a ton of glue uh, and a lot of screws and I let it sit overnight before I do anything else. And then I usually trim just a little bit off, like maybe a quarter inch. And then I make sure to seal all of the edges of the plywood with a good amount of waterproof glue to make sure it doesn't warp in the weather. And so far I've had pretty good luck by doing these doors in that manner. And for the windows, I simply make one frame at whatever size that you feel is aesthetically pleasing. 
and I cut the hole for the window approximately one half inch larger than the inside uh, dimensions of the window frame and I glue and screw it in and then you can either add some hardware cloth for a ventilated opening or you could add a piece of plexiglass or glass with some silicone caulking. And for the trim, I'm not sure I can say too much more than what already isn't quite obvious, but it serves two main functions. One is to protect the edges of the plywood from excess moisture, and two, it is to provide a little bit of an aesthetic feature. Kind of makes the coupe look a bit more finished, especially if you decide to paint the trim a different color than the main body of the coupe. But I can assure you the chickens probably don't care. You could easily skip this step and just add a bit of extra caulking and paint to protect the edges of the plywood and save the extra expense. But for me, I like it. I definitely think it's worth it. And in the end, it just really looks nice and sharp.
Well, after quite a bit of hard work, you can see the coop is now in its final resting location, which is the exact same spot that the previous coop was at. I really like this area because it's got the trees around it to shade both the coop and the yard. And shade in Arizona is a really valuable resource. So now I'm going to give you just a quick walk around and maybe cover some of the things that I might have forgot to cover. And then I will let you guys go. First things first, I will go over the base that you saw me set the coop on. That base was made about five months ago and I used the steel that I got from my friend George from the old movie theater. It is three inch by three inch by quarter inch thick steel angle. So thanks again, George. Another project that's using that steel. Uh, anyway, I didn't cover making that because I would generally recommend somebody just use four by four posts and make a rectangular frame out of two by fours. So that just wasn't something I wanted to cover during the build, I wanted to focus on the main coop. Moving on to this end, you will notice it is almost identical to the first version of this coop. I will put the dimensions of the door, door frame and windows on the lower half of the screen uh, right now. But you can see it visually looks almost exactly the same. The only difference between the version, the first version and this is that that window will eventually just get hardware cloth uh, because I wanted to have extra ventilation. Moving on over to this long side, you can see I've added a vent there. And the reason for this vent is because during our hot times of the year, the wind comes at this direction and there is another vent on the other side of the coop. So I just wanted to get this lower cross flow. So that is why that is there. And then the egg box is almost the exact same as the first version of egg box with one exception. The lid will lift up, but on the suggestion of, I believe it was Annie, one of the viewers of the first video, she recommended putting a side access uh, because it would startle the chickens less. So basically I have two options. So I can either open this door or open the top of the egg box. Moving on to this end of the coop. This is the chicken coop clean out door. This is about five inches larger than my previous version clean out door and it'll flip up. I'll show you a clip of that right now. And as with the other side, the dimensions of the window and the vent are identical to the first version of the coop, but basically just the improvement on that chicken coop door. And you can probably see from those clips that there's no flooring in there. And that is because I plan to add purlins on the inside and coat everything with corrugated vinyl and then have uh, uh, drain holes throughout the vinyl. Uh, so I just, I didn't want to put a solid piece of plywood there. And moving over to the back side of the coop, which is the side of the coop that will face the inside of the coop run. You can see the opposing vent from the front side vent is right there to allow that cross ventilation. And then I have the barn door installed and that is mainly just to allow access for us to get in for any cleaning maintenance or if we have to grab a chicken or if my daughter wants to get in there and, and play with the chickens. But one thing I wanna note is that I'm going to be installing an automatic chicken door probably about in this location that will open at sunrise and close at sunset and that will act as a security feature um, for the times that I perhaps forget to close the fencing of the coop run, uh, which often happens. Uh, but that is currently in the mail right now, so that's why I don't have it installed. So I think that is about it. And uh, I guess I'll just uh, give you closing remarks and let you go. And before I let you go, I just thought of one thing. Some of you may be wondering if we have chickens right now, which we do, where have we been housing them since I removed the old coop? And this one currently is not able to hold chickens quite yet. Well, I made a little haphazard coop with some uh, fence posts and chicken wire and literally just some scraps here and there. 
Those are my old uh, chicken coop poop trays from the uh, part one version or the 1.0 version of the coop. And there are our chickens right now. Not the best of accommodations, but they're doing fine as of now. Uh, but here in about three or four days, whenever I can get that run done, they will be in the main coop. All right, guys, that is pretty much going to do it for this one. I hope it was interesting or at the very least informative for those of you who may want to build a chicken coop or a similar type of project. Maybe something that I've done in this project could help you or give you an idea for your own project. As for the next part in this series, that will be building the chicken coop run or the yard, and it will extend in that direction from the backside of the coop. I will do all of the posts, uh, put all the fencing, I'll wrap the fencing around the coop, and uh, I'll also add the flooring inside the coop and do some of the little odds and ends. And uh, that will be part three. And then after that, I'll do like the electric fence, uh, rainwater harvesting system, and various other things. So as always, I appreciate you watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more content. And I will see you guys later.